Hey, Mark Sutt with HurricaneTrack.com here. I wanted to go over some of the features and the functionalities of Hurricane Track for iOS. Really appreciate you purchasing the app. Your investment in the future of it, there will be updates, significant changes made as we improve upon it. Right now in version 1.0, there are some wonderful tools, and I'm going to go over those in today's particular video. Starting off with the home screen. Now this is going to change eventually. But right now this is the home screen and you can tell it's pretty straightforward. The blog coming off of HurricaneTrack.com. You click read more and it's obvious what happens. You get to read the entire blog. Our latest Twitter post is here and you can read the rest of them by clicking there which takes you to the social page down here. And then we have our latest Facebook post as well. Along the bottom, the home screen, obvious, then we have weather data, which I will go over in a minute. Our video blogs, which will be the daily video updates, as well as the field mission video blogs, which are going to be absolutely what sets this app apart from any others available. That and the weather data. Then, as I mentioned, we have our social feed, and then the Tahoe Cam with live GPS tracking of the HurricaneTrack.com Chevy Tahoe. Now looking at the weather data page, uh, we have an explanation of what the different data is, how it's collected. We're using RM Young equipment, which is the best of the best. And we have a picture here of us setting it up during Hurricane Gustav in 2008. Mike Watkins there. At the top of the 5 meter tower is an RM Young anemometer. That feeds the wind data into this storm case and it goes out through the laptop via a Sprint Air Card right into the app every 60 seconds you'll get a wind speed and a wind gust reading the average wind speed for that minute plus a pressure reading live from that site you will also get a picture from the webcam that we set up it's actually a really nice video camera that feeds into that storm case giving you a live picture from the tower site as i widen the shot here you can see mike setting that up here during hurricane ike along Galveston, Texas. So this is our five meter tower and this is what provides the data. Three of these towers we would like to be able to get four, five, or six eventually and feed all that data into the app. That would be very exciting and that is what your 999 helps to support. The more people that buy the app the more we get to reinvest in its future. So this is what the data page looks like. Now this is a temporary picture. We don't have anything live right now this is just for an example. It says live from Jacksonville, Florida. All three towers are inactive at the moment because there's no hurricane landfall missions going on. But the live camera would look like this. It'll have the timestamp and date on it. Then you get your wind speed, your one minute average, your gust for that minute, and a live pressure reading straight from the tower site. A very, very neat uh, feature of the app. And this page updates dynamically. There's no need to try to refresh it or to close the app to get new data in this page all three weather data pages update dynamically on the fly so you can leave them open and as long as your screen doesn't black out some devices you can set that differently than others this will update dynamically now I mentioned oh, let me go back I mentioned the video blogs the field mission video blogs are going to be a huge part of this app when we hit the road and we go out on our field missions using our iPhones, we will be able to shoot video of anything that we find interesting or informative for you and put it directly into the app within a matter of minutes. So, when we see conditions like this, no longer will you have to wait to see that on a DVD or a YouTube video days later. We can upload video just like this, bringing you into the hurricane with us, just like you're seeing here. That's going to be a really neat feature of the app, taking video wherever we are, whatever we see, and that will include keeping you up to date on the conditions of the storm, what it's doing. I'm telling you, it's going to be a fantastic feature. Then, of course, we have our social page, which includes a link to the blog, uh, Twitter feed, and Facebook all right here. We may change this to something else down the road. Finally, the Tahoe Cam. Right now it's set up with a uh, temporary image from our good friend and colleague out in Nevada. See that? That's the mountains and desert of Nevada. Pahrump, Nevada to be specific. 
Uh, you'll be able to track our Tahoe. No, it's not in Nevada. We were just doing some testing. You'll track the Tahoe here, and then the live cam from our dashboard right there. Wherever we go, you'll know where we are and what we see every step of the way during our field missions. It's going to be fantastic. So that's an overview of what the app is, what it does. Keep in mind the daily video Hurricane Outlook and discussions will be posted seven days a week. Uh, random times, not any specific time. I'll try to get those on as early in the day as possible. And when we have a threat for a landfall, I'll try to post more than one video blog per day to keep you up to date right there in the Hurricane Track app. So again, I really appreciate the support all of us here at HurricaneTrack.com do. This is the beginning of what will hopefully be a fantastic tool in your hurricane and weather app arsenal to keep you up to date on the latest goings on in the tropics. I am Mark Suttoff for HurricaneTrack.com. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it will explain a little bit about what the app is capable of and we'll see how things roll as we get through August and when we get to start putting it to use.